Okay, this is the uh, Raspberry Pi B version 2. And I've updated my uh, LED driver to two LEDs and solidly lit. Okay, and the purpose is to de demonstrate the use of uh, all the GPIOs. Okay, so again, here I'm using every GPIO available on the Raspberry Pi. And they're all directly powered by the uh, G the uh, Raspberry Pi. As you can see, the cable, my homemade cable here, which I use a uh, uh, an old ID connector. And at the other end, the head, I took off the head and I just cut off the, uh, just stripped them and soldered them, tin them, tin the uh, tip so that it's uh, solid, so that it'll go in the uh, slots here. Otherwise it won't go in, because it's stranded. Um, the, so again, it's directly powering. You can see, there's no, no other components needed. Didn't have to use any other components to drive LEDs. Okay, the only thing I have is a limiting resistor here. Okay, but it's limited to about three, it's about uh, 10 milliamps, perhaps. Like it, but with the uh, LEDs dropping the voltage, it might only be like one milliamp or less. You see it's very dim, so it's it's very likely, uh, what I did measure is about as one milliamp to two milliamps. Last time measured. Okay, again, no sophisticated electronics needed. And all I did is write a uh, simple script to drive the uh, outputs. To write to the outputs, and it just switches it. There's no actual counting, or there was. Um, Create uh, different functions for zero, one, two, three, and then I have a loop where it just counts up to nine and it goes back to zero for each one of these. Again, all GPIOs used. And if you want to know more about the GPIO pinouts, uh, it's uh, it's on elinux.org, or you could Google uh, Raspberry Pi as a GPIO and you'll find it. This one shows you the uh, older revision one of the GPIO, but it's the, uh, but basically the same. The only difference is, and it'll show you the difference here. You can see it's the same except for GPIO zero, which became two, GPIO one became three, and 21 became 27. Otherwise, everything else is the uh, same. Okay. And uh, you, I wouldn't use more than 50 milliamps. It tells you 50 milliamps max. I would use as little as possible. I'm using the 3.3 volt, which is what you're supposed to be using directly with with uh, any of the outputs or the inputs. Okay. So the uh, the uh, GPIOs are referencing the uh, on the left. You got pin one, three, five, seven, nine. That's the pin of the. Uh, that's the pin out of the. Uh, GPIO on a connector on the Raspberry Pi, whereas the uh, green column uh, you'll see GPIO 014 or, or the uh, 234. That's referring to the processor's uh, Broadcom chip that you'll see. Uh, it's referring to, so GPIO uh, 234 is referring to the uh, processor here, which is. Uh, this guy here, the Samsung. It's made by Samsung, but it's actually a Broadcom. Okay, so inside the Broadcom. The uh, Samsung chip that you just saw there 
um, is a CPU, memory, and uh, GPU all in one. So it's uh, CPU, the graphics, and the memory all built into there. Common anode. I got these uh, LEDs at Radio Shack. You can order them cheaper, uh, probably online. And uh, they're common anodes, so they're using the positive instead of the, the negative ground. So you get to connect directly to the 3.3. And uh, to switch it on, you actually switch the GPIO to zero. So GPIO negative, I mean zero, off, false. This just uh, goes and switches on. So when you switch GPIO on on, your, on the on the uh, device, uh, the, this will actually not be lit. Okay, so it's reversed. And uh, the outputs can go uh, and use the can connect. You, you don't have to use it. You don't have to connect. To the ground, you, you can also use the uh, positive. So the uh, GPIO outputs, you can use connect a transistor, let's say, and uh, use a common ground or common positive. All right.